video or where this is going to be. If it is the start of a new vlog, then hello. Um, it's about, what time is it? About just on 12. Half 12. Just, just, is it half 12-ish? Uh, yeah. It's half 12. We just arrived in Hiroshima. We were in Kyoto. We got the bullet train. Um, me and Bert literally slept the whole way. Oh, you can see my... The seats go really far back on the bullet train. Yeah, the seats go really far back on the bullet train. So we were just like, conked out. Um, so yeah, we've just got the bullet train to Hiroshima. We are only here for one night. We can't check in to our hotel until two. So we've got some time. Probably go get some food or something. But look at this hotel. Like, we're only here for a night, which is such a shame. Because look at it. It's like an actual like shopping centre. It's got this hey. in the middle. It's crazy. And it's really, it goes up really tall and there's a really nice view. Okay, so we just grabbed a drink in the hotel and then we hopped on the bus from the hotel um, and we are now walking to the Peace Park um, and like the memorial. I think we're gonna go into the museum as well. So we haven't made it to the Peace Park yet. There is, <laughs> there's a K-pop shop in the train station and Hayden's been a little bit sidetracked. Um, we went to see Blackpink, here they are, didn't we Hayes? Yeah. He's going to make some purchases. You need to get some more stuff for your room. Why don't you get those? They're quite small. So we've got something in plastic. Blackpink has stickers. So we'll stick them in it, yeah? Oh yeah, that's nice. I love the hoodie. Just banana. Oh, yeah. Okay, he made some purchases. I might get more. <laughs> He got one thing from every band that he likes, which is quite a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're now in the Peace Park, and this is um, the Memorial Dome, and it's on the 6th of August 1945. America, so I'm reading the sign of here, it says an American B-29 bomber carried out the world's first atomic bombing. Um, the bomb approximately uh, exploded approximately 600 meters above and 160 meters southeast of Hiroshima. Um, and then this was like the remains, but because of how it exploded, it like some of the building rem like remained as a structure, so they now use it as like, they now call it the A-bomb um, dome. But yeah, it's just mad how that's still kind of standing and the picture over there. That's what it looked like before the bomb went off. So the flame that is light there, um, it won't go out, it won't be put out until all nuclear bombs are like, destroyed in the world, like there's no nuclear weapons left. Um, that would, that's what that symbolises, um, which is mad. Well, it's, it's amazing and mad. Look, there's like a memorial like structure. And then you have the flame, and then all the way at the back, you have the dome in like a line. We're now in the hall of remembrance. It's amazing in here, isn't it? And everything like symbolizes a different thing. What do you think of today? It's been a while since I last vlogged. We went into the proper like museum bit. Um I look rough as well. <laughs> but um yeah it was just really like hard hitting and really moving. But I think before you I think it's important to feel like that, like to go into the museum and stuff because then you can appreciate what you're actually seeing, do you know what I mean? Because before, yeah. we, before we 
went into the museum and we were like, wow, like these things are like being respectful and thinking like, wow, oh, these things are amazing. But after the museum, you kind of get a different. Because it, it gave you visuals as well, didn't it? So you could like visually see. It's all good reading a plaque, but when you yeah. like seeing a building, but then when you see the pictures. The Amazing day. Good drained, I don't know why. Yeah, I know. But we're going to get some food now. We might do a boat cruise or something. Boat tour, yeah. Um, I really want to go to Hiroshima Castle at some point. He's only here for a day, so we've got to try and like, do as much as we can. But yeah. And I think we did. Cape's turn up in a set. What are you doing? Not nice. It's not, not nasty, it's just very alcoholic. Mm. It's definitely alcoholic. Do you want mine? No. My tripod just landed in the pesto. It's in the pesto, oh my god. Not even lamo. Not even a bit of lamo. Not even lamo. Mm, yeah. I'm so excited about that. Mm, that was quick, really quick. I thought it was an Arsenal shirt. No. I bet I've been. Down it, down it, down it, down it, down it. Hey! So we have ate our food. Wait, was it very nice? Very Yummy. Nice. Yeah. It's better than that. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it, Dad? <laughs> wasn't it, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> We're now on a boat tour, but it's really good. The little relaxing boat ride has gone out onto the sea. And, um, safe to say it's a little bit choppy. <laughs> what we can see not a lot but it has like information of like all the interesting points around but um yeah it's it's, uh, it's going over a few waves captain doesn't look too phased he does this all the time quite used to these conditions okay we're, Hi. Hi. we're now off the boat we've actually come a lot further than school so i'm not sure how we're gonna get back because i think I don't think we should get the road back or something, so yeah, we're actually a little bit further out than we thought. I'm not really sure what's here either, but it should be good. Anyway, what what did you think was here, Mum? Keep away from Mel, dear. No feeding. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's alright. Right. They're wild. It's okay, they're no yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna get run over. Hello. Look at the baby, look at the baby. Hello, oh, no, wait, 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 do it, wait, do it, wait. It's really good. I can dance. Really good. Can I show you guys something? <laughs> zoom in. How do you zoom in? There's the, there's the baby. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's the baby. Sorry, we don't want to get demonetized here, do we? Okay, so we suddenly just come across loads of people, so it's not as remote as we thought. Um, there's a shrine somewhere. Oh wow, is that like a market? Yeah, oh god. Oh, okay. My heart just sank. What's that? My heart sank because you just spotted a shopping opportunity. Ridiculous. This is quite the place. I don't think that's a veranda thing that comes out. We've escaped the madness of the crowds. It's very busy. Um, we think there is like a light fireworks show, and if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of fireworks, so feeling a little bit scared about that. Um, but we've come off one of the busy roads to this. Oh, you can't really see it. No, you can't really see it. It's not really lit up or anything. Um, 
I think the other shrine might have been closed off. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's quite a big thing though, because there are so many people here on this like really remote island. No um, one speaks English, bro. Yeah, no one, food. no one speaks English. It's all like traditional food and that. Isn't it? Yeah, there's traditional food. There's like so many people eating like an eel. All in kimonos as well. Yeah, and it's safe to say we are getting some weird looks. Right, okay, where are we currently? Oh, yeah. oh, so this is the shrine, but it is it shut? Yeah, must be. Where, yeah. where is it? That's the only shrine. Ah, cool. Sorry, gates in the water there. Yeah, I, I couldn't see it when we walked past because it's dark. Right. Okay, maybe we... not lit up tonight because of the thing, I don't know. Mm, okay, maybe we head back. Let's go back and find Maybe we just my found family. unfortunate on this night. Yeah, maybe it's on this like night. fortunate but unfortunate because we've seen all this stuff, but it's got like normal stuff not open. I oh, well. I'm a bit scared as well. Why? Because I feel like it's going to be a big firework we'll display. Out there, yeah? <laughs> so people are just like, like this for... Like they're all getting ready, aren't they? Yeah, you know, like at Disney when people stand... Oh, early for the lights. So. Early for fireworks and stuff. It's literally this for metres, even miles, I reckon, around this little island. Um, yeah, waiting for the fireworks display. So, hmm. And then here are all the food um, stands. With um, the interesting oh cuisine, what is that? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> hey, mum. That's the sea right there. Is it? You can go. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> hello. Do those things about. Oh, what have we got here? Cleansing. Cleansing watch. Moisture. Lotion. Moisture milk. A bath tub. Wow. With some shower and stuff. We're very equipped, aren't we? You're equipped. Mm. We've just got our. Uh, We've just got our robes on, we're heading to the hot springs. We're hoping we don't have to go in naked. Um, we've also got spiders. Here. No, don't show me, don't show me. Oh, I'm too cool for my robe, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at my family in their robes. Hello. Okay guys, when I get back into the room, I need to tell you about that experience because that was something I've never experienced before in my life. What did you think of your first hot springs? Oh, I can't even say. What? I can't even say. No, it was quite nice when we were in there, wasn't it? Just a bit. Okay. We're now out of the hot spring. Hi. Hi. Could we get beer, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah, on that. We're in the top bar and restaurant. Oh, no, no. Uh, mm, look yes. at this view. Uh, I don't know, so I'll have two beers. I'll explain about the hot springs in a minute. Just had our dinner. It's 12, it's quite late. Um, should we tell them oh about the hot springs? Should we set the camera up? I feel like it needs should a... We, should we have a little business meeting? Go on then, sit down. So, um, we didn't really know what to expect. Um, and my dad paid for us to go in and there were like separate men and women ones. Um, so me and my mum went in, my dad, my brothers and Bert went into the other one and as we walked into the change room everyone was nude and obviously that's not like, I mean I know Pretty in, abrupt wasn't it, it was pretty full on Yeah and I, like I know in like gyms in the UK like people walk around naked and whatever but like I don't know, it was just, it was just like whoa, like we're not used to seeing that and then me and my mum literally deliberated for five minutes like do we want to go in? like fully naked and stuff we basically were just like oh like fuck it like we're here once so let's just 
you know, do it. We're never going to see these people again. So we had to like take all of our stuff on. We had like a little towel. And then as you walked out, they had like individual um, stalls with like mirrors, showers, um, and all like products. Oh, the guys didn't get mirrors. Oh, did they not? Mm. Oh. There's a little stall. Do you, did you have a little product, products like lined up? A product? I mean, a hole in the stall where you sprayed up. Did you? Yeah. Be like fully, fully clean. So I had to wash my hair and everything before getting in the like hot springs. Um, so it was a bit odd because we were just like fully nude. Like they, they were individual, kind of individual, but they weren't like cubicles, were they? No, it they just were kind of like, like apart glass. End and then it was like a bit of stone and then it was yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> um, and then I don't know, like I thought it, it's normal. I it might be normal in that in this culture to so we did it anyway. We washed and then we just went. It was hot. It was but it was actually really hot. nice. It kind of like it made me realise like why are we so like oh my gosh like naked when everyone has like a body but because it's not a thing to be naked like it's do you know what i mean it made me think like why yeah, why are we even worried about it like we were have body I, parts. I thought it was going to be it, it was it was obviously a men and women split i thought we were going to be together mm. i don't know why um but no i guess then that would be i don't know oh no it was really good i'm glad we did it my hair's still wet um, and then we got some dinner after, it's like 12 now, so we're going to go because we're flying back to Tokyo tomorrow morning. Um, and we've got a few more days in Tokyo and then it's over, like this whole trip is going too quick. I'm absolutely loving every minute of it. Um, so yeah, I feel like we had to experience it, it was good, it's actually really relaxing. Um, so I yeah. I sleep right here, right now. Right here, right now. I don't know what I would have got today. Um, I didn't, obviously, when we went into, like, the museums of the memorial, I didn't want to film anything in there, really. I know I filmed the, like, memorial outside and stuff, but I didn't want, because it's, I didn't want to be disrespectful, and, yeah, it was actually really hard-hitting, like, really sad, um, but it made going there more, understood it more. So, um, I didn't really know anything about it before I came, so, yeah, that was really moving. We had a good day we are only here for a night and this hotel is gorgeous as well i'm gonna end this vlog here then i think oh because no, we're going don't back. go don't go if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i hope you're liking all the japan vlogs so far i'm gonna have so much to edit it's gonna they, you're gonna be having vlogs for weeks and weeks um but yeah if you enjoyed it please give it a thumb well 10 days no it's in like i'm already a bit behind on my vids anyway give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the my next, next video. Bye